I'm 73, I'm retired, and I have a pension, Social Security, and I draw $600 a month from an all-cash position held at the bank at Raymond James. Okay. It wasn't, and it was, it was all in CDs, and they've matured. And I'll be honest, I haven't been in touch with them at all. Okay. Um, and I'm just letting it sit there because I really don't know what to do next. Okay. Um, Ju- uh, I would say this, Julie. First of all, uh, it's, it's a little bit difficult to start laddering out some CDs because you just got out of CDs that were probably paying a pretty decent return that were probably four or five years old, maybe some of them. Uh, but I would say, um, you know, maintain, you, there is no reason for you to take a lot of risk. You don't need to. Uh, it sounds like you're doing just fine on, on your income that, that God's blessed you with and you're doing just fine with that. Uh, obviously, you've now, since they've all come to maturity, you've now lost this $600 worth a, mo- a month of income unless you're drawing that out of principal, which I'd rather you not do. But I, So I would tell you, get reinvested in some other CDs. Don't let them talk you into an annuity, which is something they might do. But get it in, into some more CDs laddered out. I would go, if I were you, I would go out as far as two years on that first CD. I would go out two and a half years with some of it. I would go out three years with some of it. And then in two years from now, um, I would probably, when that first two year comes due, roll it back into another two year CD and continue to do that every six months. And you'll, you'll be able to ladder that out in such a way that you can just, you know, roll them over in the same kind of C, in a two-year CD uh, or, or a little longer. We are not going to be in a rising interest rate environment anytime soon. And when I say soon, I mean in the next two and a half years. It's very unlikely that that would happen. Um, so, we, you know, that's what I would do with that money. Uh, you can do that right where you are. You can do it with, remember, they are going to try to talk you into some annuities. I would not do that. Um, but I would stay in those CDs, either go to a bank, go to Christian Community Credit Union. Uh, they have a great program of laddering out. They also have one CD that you might want to do that is liquid, uh, liquid in the sense of there is no uh, penalties for early withdrawal and it's, and it's money that you can get to without any penalties for early withdrawal against the interest rate. So I think that's what you should do, Julie, unless you uh, really need uh, more, more high, you know, a higher income. Um, okay, I, I think that's probably the safest thing. I, w- I would like to create more income, but if it's not a safe thing to do right now, then I better not. Yeah, Julie, there, there is no way, I would tell you if there were, um, some, and some others, you are going to get information from, from some others that are going to tell you that it, you can do that safely. You can't. You can't right. get higher interest without taking higher risk. It's, just the, it's been like that for 130 years. It's not going to ever change. You can't have one without the other. And if you are risk adverse, and you should be, um, you need to stay in, in those CDs. Hey, I want to thank you for watching the clip. We sure do appreciate it. Would you go right now, click on that subscribe button if you haven't already. That helps us. We would appreciate it. Thanks again.